Good day, collective. This is a healing and ascension message for a follow-up um, divine feminine. You had a low vibrational Virgo energy that was experiencing the ending of a job of some sort as you were just staying hopeful, okay? While you're on this journey that you are going, you have had court situations happen with family members, friends, groups of people, and it's more to come. It's going to be more to come, okay? Probably with your family. But just know that the karmics over the last 30 days, they've been, a tri they've been trying to do as much as possible to avoid prison. But how they've been, what they've been doing with their physical body and with their money, they're under judgment for. Yes, someone did manipulate cases when it come, came to your, um, to like custody and things like that. But Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, y'all are getting justice. Divine Feminine, these people tried to have you locked up. You're getting, you're going to get justice. These older men are in spiritual jail. And because they do have some type of, I'm not calling it wealth. They got money in different places or whatever, barely, but... At any who, the exchange of currency amongst those men is what's dragging them deeper and deeper to a coffin while they're in spiritual jail. Okay? Look, great fortune in reverse. Spirit said, I, I said it perfectly. My God said I got it. So what does my collective most need to know at this time? Those that could be ending a job or experienced an ending of a job and were stressed out and in despair. We're hopeful now. We're turning the despair energy upside down. So, yes, we are. We have the marriage card. Someone's in despair about you getting a contract, possibly a new job contract or a new, like, wedding, like, new marriage. about a partnership someone's in despair real 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 bad it could be up to 64 men that are in, in despair because you are guaranteed healthy connections emotionally materially spiritually all of it and this is all they ever wanted for you while you were 31 and 32 years old when you were 32 years old, some people did a lot of out of your mind things when it came to your conscious. So you may not even remember some stuff, but I don't feel like it's relevant anymore, to be honest with you. It's not. The spell work has been broken. You had a lot of stuff being done to you, collective. They wanted you to feel low vibrational so you could do things, extort yourself, exploit yourself, be in that sellout energy no good job for you you didn't it was times you had to question yourself but you were receiving confirmation that you were on the right path and you are so your past life lesson for you know overall this is about lessons over the last 30 days spiritually what you've been doing spiritually what you've been doing is engaging in a lot of high vibrational energies uh allowing angels to heal past life marriages past marriages if you're divorced past relationships and engagements and past transactions the angels have been healing that that was your judgment past life lesson mm -hmm. now it's all about your daily practices daily rituals Plant what you expect to grow, literally, even within these people. What's the present lesson? Present lesson is learning about who's manipulating some of your friends and people that you have partnerships with. One of your friends invested in marrying a police officer. This police officer is very narcissistic, collective. Could be a Sagittarius or an Aquarius, or have both those placements, which definitely is, he's in a whole nother illusion. This husband wants to get some great fortune out of you by any means necessary. This person actually either could do tarot or he just 
works with third parties that are dibbling and dabbling in spirituality and religion, cults, divine feminine hijack takeover type of shit. So that's, he sent this energy out. Could be a father figure. Your intuition already told you this. What do you need to know about the near future? Because I know you want to take steps. Because you know this is going to end up in a court case. What can I provide the collective with? You're going to receive a gift. Monetary. Some type of resource. Okay? Hangman in reverse. It's going to involve spell work that you don't want to do. Collective. It's going to involve spell work that you don't want to do. It's going to be a five of cups energy because you have to use the energy of sadness and regret. You've already been working on releasing it, right? Where did it go? Back into the earth. Okay, so it's some work that you have to do to bring some balance to the situation in the near future. Okay, moving forward. Let's get a healing mantra. Remember, these people are trying to do anything by all means possible not to get in this courtroom. God said it can't happen any other way. It couldn't have happened any other way. Expanding inner power is the healing mantra. I am my most powerful when my creativity is given a voice. Listen, some of you never thought you have the ability to sing. You might want to start opening your mind up to using your voice because some truths about your sadness you you've developed a gift of singing okay yeah that's always been in your heart but your brain had imbalances due to that seven of cups energy remember all right collective i hope this um brings you more hope. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.